hi guys welcome back to my channel and before i get into this video today i wanted to give like an announcement would that be an announcement i don't know if it'd be an announcement but i wanted to talk basically i am changing the dynamics of my youtube channel it wasn't supposed to be like this but it's basically turned into a hair tutorial and i don't want it to be because like i said it wasn't supposed to be like that someone's coming i hear them That's tough. Know. If I edit So, basically, I didn't want it to, but it kind of turned into a hair tutorial. It turned into a hair channel, and I don't want it to be a hair channel. I want it to be more of a, you know, me doing my thing and, you know, what I love, you know? Not just hair. It's so much more to that. I'm changing it to be a lifestyle channel. I want to start doing collaborations with some of my fellow YouTubers, my friends. A lot of stuff that I want to start doing. Like today, today's video is not a hair video. Thank God, right? Well, today is something very different and before I got into what it was, I just wanted to say that things are gonna be changing. Today, I am doing... Okay, so the backstory. I have been watching Next in Fashion show on Netflix, like a bunch of fashion designers and they come together and they have challenges and stuff. But it has definitely gotten my creative fashionista juices flowing that I never knew I had it, had it that I never knew I had. I was watching the TV show and I was like, I want to start doing that. But I've done a few things like y'all know I, well y'all don't know, cause I don't do that on here, that's what I'm saying. I sew bonnets and stuff. Y'all don't know that, all y'all know is that I do hair. While I was watching it, it got my creative juices flowing. Y'all can see all them clothes right there. That was me going through my closet last night, seeing what I'm gonna like deconstruct and construct and design and just do different things with. I found something. I found these pants, satin, like satin um palazzo pants or whatever and i was like i don't have a top to wear with this what i do have is extra satin black fabric from a bonnet that i've done i'm making a top to go with these pants and you get to watch this is like my first time actually ever sewing clothes so this i'm actually cutting and putting it together and constructing and we're gonna see how this goes and i talked a little bit but i'm about to start now and um so yeah, let's get into it. So for this part of the video, you are just going to cut some fabric out big enough for you to fit a shirt on it. Um, and you are going to trace out the outlines of a shirt that you like that fits you well. So I chose this good enough t-shirt because I like the way it fits my body. And um, I am just tracing around it. So for this next step, you're going to draw a straight line from the under armpit to the top shoulder. You can use a ruler. I used a book to do what I had to do to get it done. Um, and then after that, you're just going to go and cut your pieces out along the lines that you have traced. Once you have done that, the next step is to flip both of your pieces inside out so that the top parts will be facing inwardly with each other. And then you are just going to stitch both sides of the top and the shoulder part of the top. So I kind of got this one out of the frame, that's my bad. What you're gonna do is flip the bottom over and stitch it down and then re-flip it over once that is stitched and do a double stitch over the new flip. So you should basically flip twice and you're gonna stitch that down. So next we're moving on to the shoulder stitching and it's essentially the same thing that we did with the bottom except we're not doing a double stitch we're going to do it one time so you just flip the flap over pin it down and then you're going to go over with the sewing machine and stitch it lastly we're going to be doing the underarm stitch you just flip that over and stitch it down just like we've done everything else this will be a one-time stitch You'll cut your stitch and flip it inside out and it should look like this. I am about to get into it. So um, I have it laid out right over here and I'm about to put it on so you guys can see how my crop satin slit shirt crop top came out with my satin palazzo pant. Let's get into it. What do you think? <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Let me just put that right back. So you can't see my boobies. They didn't mean to. It just, you know, fail. It failed. What can I say? It failed. This is the detailing. Yeah. It was actually kind of easy, not gonna lie. So if you just got fabric and you got a sewing machine, you can make this whoop the whoop the whoop the whoop. You could really probably do this without a sewing machine, like with um like glue, hot glue. Cause all I really did was fold everything inside. And once outside opens up and I can go buy some more fabric, fabric, and I'll show y'all how to do it without sewing because not everybody can sew. If you try this out, it's really cute. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. I will have more content up very soon. So stay tuned. Sorry, I'm out.